join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ArtesiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, we welcome a global citizen joining us here in Paris, far from his home in Cape Town, South Africa, to speak to us about the dramatic consequences of counterfeit consumable goods. He's originally from Zimbabwe, went on to run the African engagement for the World Economic Forum, and is now fighting counterfeit trade in Africa. He's launched the world's largest effort ever undertaken in the fight against counterfeiting and illicit trade, and is using blockchain and NFT technology to do this and save lives. Patrick McGee, welcome. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you for having me on the show. Our pleasure. So, Patrick, can you start out by giving us the big picture about the counterfeit trade in Africa? Counterfeiting affects every part of our life. Everything, and especially fast-moving consumer goods, are the most counterfeited items in the world today. We estimate that counterfeiting is about a $4.3 trillion business, which would represent the GDP of Germany are two and a half times the defense budgets of all the governments reunited in the world. In Africa, we estimate that 25% of it is happening on the continent. The World Health Organization recently stated that more than 42% of medicine used in the African continent is counterfeit, and this number goes up to 70% in Western Africa. What's your experience? If I speak to my Nigerian friends, they will say, oh, you're being nice to me because you mean that 90% to 100% of our medication is fake. Every year, about 120,000 children, 120,000 children are dying from fake malaria pills every year. And this is only what is reported to the WHO. So you can imagine what is not reported, and that could probably amount to over a million people getting dying every year in Africa from fake medicine. So it is really killing people. Patrick, you are leading this huge project to ensure that patients get the real medicines that they need. Can you tell us how blockchain and NFT technology comes into play? We're lucky to be working with some of the leaders in blockchain technologies and NFTs, which are Particia blockchain. And the way we do it is we have pre-programmed transactions. So basically we tokenize. So we have digital, basically digital fingerprints on all medication that is going to the continent. And with this medication, you're, you, you preset what's going to happen, meaning you know who's going to be, who's the donor, who's the person that's going to be transporting, and who's the person that is receiving. And you make sure that all of these match, meaning that if using the blockchain if it's not the right recipient that is getting the medication, the medication won't be delivered to that person. So we've created a whole ecosystem. How are you ensuring that the medicine is not counterfeit? Every drug is supposed to have a unique identifier on it. I'm talking about this. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. It's a hologram associated with a data matrix that is not falsifiable. And all of this is obviously put on the blockchain. We have seen a lot in the press about the crypto altruism, which is the crypto and blockchain community reaching out, trying to solve some of the world's biggest problems, having grants to run projects on blockchain. It's very inspiring and just being on these kind of, uh, of shows and the work that I24 is doing is as well very inspiring to try to democratize the access to blockchain, crypto, NFTs, et cetera. Because the, my one worry, I think, is that on the continent, in Africa, we are not yet at the level of um, uh, knowledge in terms of crypto, in terms of blockchain. I think a lot of people don't yet see the good or the crypto for good, let's say, that can come out of these technologies. And what I would really wish is for, for the African population to get more interested in this, learn about blockchain, learn about crypto, see how it can improve your business and improve your country. Thank you so much, Patrick McGee, for decrypting a life-saving use case of blockchain technology. And join us next week when we will discuss some of the largest mainstream blockchain projects in 2022. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.